What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video So, tonight was an amazing night for wrestling, I must say that Um, it was, it was dope to see two different shows, two different companies, NXT, AEW, Dynamite Putting their best foot forward And I guess you can say, you know, we had the Monday Night Wars back in the the early 90s and mid mid 90s and now we got the wednesday night war so i'm gonna give my thoughts on both shows after the end of this reaction i did see this live this was pretty dope john moxley attacks kenny omega it's a pretty sick table spot the crowd was hyped i i was hyped i was chanting holy shit as well like this was this was pretty dope very entertaining i feel like both shows put their best foot forward for us fans wrestling fans and at the end of the day we all win as wrestling fans we all win when it comes to just being entertained so i'm gonna get my thoughts on both shows but let's check this out real quick make sure y'all like the video make sure y'all comment down below what was your favorite part from each of the shows man let's let's start a discussion in the comment section bro i love interacting with y'all so let's get into it and when you hear the crowd like pops that's so great. That crowd was alive. Oh, man. This was so dope. He pushes the camera out of the way. Uh, this was just, this was just chaotic. I like it, man. Love, I love stuff like this. Love little segments like this. He was supposed to have a match. <laughs> well, he was in a match, a uh, six, six man match, and it just got broken up by John Moxley. I love it. This is so. <laughs> And then he pushed the security guy. I don't know if you saw that. <laughs> he pushed the security guy. So they go back to the match at hand. It's three v two situation, but they cut back to this. This is so dope. Just man, this is so just lively. I love me some backstage brawls, man. <laughs> like how you hit him with a, a mop. <laughs> a mop stick, bro. <laughs> this is dope. <laughs> the best part coming up, man. Oh, my goodness. This is so, this is such an epic spot. Oh my god, bro, this is such an epic spot. <laughs> that was a nice little spot. Holy shit. Holy shit. Man, that was, that was dope, bro. Just a little quick clip, man. That that was to me one of the highlights of uh, AEW Dynamite. Uh, I also enjoyed. Um, uh, I forgot his name. Is what his name? Uh, what he goes by now? But it was uh, it used to be Jack Swagger in WWE. Then I believe he uh, went to MMA. I, um, he was doing well in MMA. I think he's undefeated in MMA. And then now, well, he was doing some, like, I believe after he left WWE, he was doing some wrestling things and then went to MMA. Did well there. Now he's back with AEW. He was pretty much 
attacking uh, a Cody Rose, Dustin Rose. Um, who else was there in the ring at the time? Uh, the Young Bucks, they basically was beating down the baby faces. And it looks like Jericho has an, a nice little heel faction. I don't know. Maybe so. We can see. But it was cool seeing him. The crowd really popped. But for me, that was like... That was pretty dope. That was one of the highlight segments of the show. The John Moxley attacking Kenny Omega. They're really putting fuel to the fire with their feud. I'm looking forward to their upcoming pay-per-view. I believe it's in November. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, man. Uh, this was just uh, overall the feel um, of AEW. This very first show. You can tell by the scale. Like, it was legit sold out. You know how WWE say they're sold out? But a lot of times you can't really see, like, the the audience on the hard cam side. So, they, there'd be, like, a lot of empty seats, but you wouldn't see it. You know what I'm saying? This was legit. Looks like it was sold out. The venue was packed. It was lively. The crowd was energetic. There were some pretty good matches. I, I enjoyed the uh, women's match. I enjoyed the very first match. Um... Uh, um cody rose had uh i forgot the dude's name correct me correct me in uh in the bottom correct me in the chat not chat in uh in the comment section i forgot his name but that match was entertaining once again a lot of these wrestlers from on this company i'm kind of new to so it's gonna take me a while to get accustomed to who they are their names and get their background information but that's the brilliance of this i'm i'm kind of new to this group of wrestling wrestlers so for the other than the ones that i know uh Pac and uh hangman page they had a decent all right match but uh, uh for the most part this was for me i enjoyed watching aew i wasn't sure how they were gonna present the show but i enjoyed it now nxt it was I'm fucking it was great i ain't gonna lie to you nxt tonight definitely had a takeover feel this was like a mini takeover if you want to be honest we have finn balor he's basically going to be back on nxt now which honestly i can understand why they do that they don't really have a need i mean they they could use him on the main roster but they're not going to effectively in my opinion so for the fact that he's back on nxt is pretty cool um he was uh kind of giving uh uh adam cole the the look over like hey i'm back on nxt now so don't get too comfortable with that championship uh the match with um um adam cole and what's the other dude's name matt riddle dang there we go i had i knew i i uh, I don't know what's going on with me, man. But yeah, it was Matt Riddle. That was an interesting match. I enjoyed that for sure. That was definitely interesting. That was a in that was a NXT Takeover worthy championship match. I knew Matt Riddle wasn't gonna win, but Adam Cole did win for the most part clean. It was an enjoyable match. The Shayna Baszler versus um, Candice LeRae. That was an enjoyable match. I enjoyed that match. Um, I want to say. Johnny Gargano versus, I don't know the other dude's name. Comment down below, I forgot his name. Uh, that match was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. And overall, this, that whole NXT show for, uh, for, to, for tonight was pretty good. It was, it was definitely good. I enjoyed it. I think one of the biggest highlights, obviously, Tommaso Ciampa coming back, staring down the NXT Championship, aka Goldie, just staring, staring it down, letting Adam Cole know your time is almost up, bruh. I'm coming back for Goldie. I'm coming back for my title. So I'm looking forward to what these shows are gonna be producing for the next couple of weeks. Uh, NXT was definitely more wrestling oriented. It was a lot of great wrestling, and AEW Dynamite was more so. It had some good wrestling in it, but it was more so like spectacle it was more so um just the atmosphere and just you know like really i guess you could say progressing storylines it was it was a uh, it was some storylines being progressed for feuds and potential feuds and stuff like that but it wasn't as much heavy wrestling oriented like nxt was tonight so but, but honestly they both killed it tonight uh if i had to go 
with one if i had to choose and this one's tough i'm not gonna lie if i had to choose who won the first week of these wednesday wars i'm gonna go i'm gonna give the edge a slight edge to AEW, and the only reason why i say that it's like i said before the crowd atmosphere was so immense in that in that arena like everybody the crowd was hot and not to say the nxt crowd wasn't hot because they were hot the entire time for the most part there was some down moments they were hot but it's full sale it's not as big of a venue uh, you know so it's it's more confined more intimate as in aew that one that one looked like a a premier like a premier pay-per-view event how lively and energetic the crowd was like you only see those type of crowds on wwe main roster like on the major wrestling pay-per-views or like a monday night raw after wrestlemania it's the only time you really see those type of crowds and maybe like the wrestling cities like philly chicago new york but this crowd was just amped so i'm gonna give the slight edge to aew just because of the atmosphere along and it was new and they it was just entertaining and uh i'll give them a slight edge but nxt killed it on the wrestling aspect they were hella entertaining as too as well i would honestly say this was a mini takeover episode honestly so they both killed it slight edge to aew comment down below who do y'all think won the war tonight aew dynamite or nxt comment down below let's give a discussion what are y'all looking forward to are y'all looking forward to next week to see uh where things go with storylines which shows are y'all gonna watch more are y'all gonna watch aew more next week are y'all gonna watch nxt more next week or y'all just gonna watch both and it doesn't really matter and it's just great wrestling finally one day out of the week in multiple companies well in two different companies i mean nxt has always been killing it for the most part but now you can see it on like national television it was only on the wwe network but now it's on national television so a lot more people can get you know get their eyes familiar with these different characters on nxt and aew is trying to create new stars man appreciate y'all kicking it with me